Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. 안녕하세요. 다우드 킴입니다. So I turn on the camera because I want to say something. I don't know you know this or not, but it would be a little bit different topic today. The really famous Korean YouTuber named Yong Sword, he came back to YouTube again. Uh, but this kind of uh, sad news, he uploaded a video that he will sell his channel and it means that he doesn't want to do YouTube again with the Yong Sword channel. So it's kind of sad, yeah. But I turned the camera because I want to say something. I saw the comments in his channel. Of course, there are many support messages, but, but also there are so many comments that blame him. Like, you're a liar or like, you're not a Muslim anymore. You're a hypocrite. You use Muslims for your benefits. And there are reasons why he has uploaded a video for a year. He made two channels, KVAR and Hyjuno. And in KVAR channel, and he reacts like American TikTok videos, which is like inappropriate videos like gay tiktoks like naked girls tiktok wap music video reaction like this and also he had another channel named hi juno like traveling thailand and in this channel he even drink and eat pork yeah he posted that video and i saw it too and of course this is not islamic so in these videos he acting like he's not a muslim so that's why people said him like you're a liar you're not a muslim you're exploiting muslims to make money or something like this but i want to tell you something there's two the first thing i want to tell something to people who blame him the people who make this kind of comments of course like through his other channels he looks away far away from islam and islamic values so actually i don't know he's still muslim or not but at least he's showing people he's not like muslim but I want to tell you this how can you tell him you are not muslim it means like do you have any rights to judge or blame him like this way of course like gay things like naked girls quirk this is a way far of islam i know you know and i hope he knows too but as far as i know he said shahada ashadu ala illaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammadan rasulullah and he didn't say that he's not Muslim anymore. Of course, it's not easy to understand as a own Muslims, but Kambar Muslims are like people who are with their own culture for a long time. So it's not easy to cut off everything and suddenly like live a perfect Muslim. So I don't say like, oh, I support your non-Islamic stuff or something. I don't say this, but I want to tell you, do you have any rights to say you're not Muslim and blame him only? Allah knows. Only Allah knows our heart, our intention, and your face. With Holy Quran, lay on your hand. And can you tell that you have never lied and you have never done haram stuff in your life? You don't have any sins in front of Allah SWT? Are you that perfect and innocent? There's no perfect person without any flaws or sins. This is not just shown to others because Allah didn't show that, because Allah's protection. Maybe some people can say like this, at least I didn't lie, at least I didn't report, at least I don't support gays or lesbian, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're right. So maybe you are a better person than him. Maybe you're a better person than me. Maybe you're a better Muslim than us. So what? If so, you have rights to blame or judge others. Do you have any rights to say, oh, you're not Muslim? The work of judgment is only for Allah. The intention, your heart, your faith in your mind, only, only Allah knows that. We are just human, obey God. And we're trying to better person, to go to the better place. And second thing I want to say, why Korean Muslims are turning away from Islam. This is not the first case, right? I remember the Jongwon and Jung's word. I think yeah, there are environment issues. There, there are so many temptations. There are so many fitna. So it's not easy to take your iman. It's not easy. I also do many mistakes still now, even after I become a Muslim. I've never said I'm a good Muslim to any others. But anyway, the main reason people get away from Islam again, the main reason people away from Islam is because of the people who blame them all the time. If we do any non-Islamic stuff at once, you directly say, you're not Muslim. You're a fake Muslim. You're using Islam. You're using Muslims. You're a hypocrite. You're a liar. <laughs> okay, so I will tell you. In Korea, being a Muslim means, it means that you have to give up so many things. You lose your job, you lose your family, and you lose people who you love. It happens to me. And we also have to face the criticism like this. Then I will ask you that for your Iman, can you give up everything like this? So when I talked with Yong's word before, he said that to me, I can't handle anymore about the criticism and the cyberbullying. So I saw many Muslim brothers who away from Islam because of people. It's really 
really sad thing. It's really sad thing. Islam is our belief. It's Iman. It's our Tawhid. It's believing our God, subhanAllah. It's believing our Creator and our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's the main thing in Islam. You can't say, you cannot say you're not Muslim because you do not halal things. So, I have to say this. I don't care if you insert me or blame me. I have to say, don't blame new Muslims. Don't blame them. It's not for him. It's not for me. This is for you guys. You should know, judging others face and insert blame, backbiting. This is a really big sense for your hereafter. Don't say bad stuff. Don't say bad stuff to others. If you really fear our God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you can't say this. If he doesn't act like Muslim or he seems like away from Islam, we should help him, support him with kind and warm words so he can come back to the right paths. Our Prophet Muhammad said, Always be kind. Even he was kind to his enemies. You don't do evil to those who do evil to you, but you deal with them with forgiveness and kindness. So I'm so sorry that this internet community is so toxic. If they mistakes, then you have to tell kindly and give them advice, not blame. To make them come back to the right way. To make them come back to the right religion, Islam. That's the role of our ummah. And that's the duty of Muslims who obey the same Allah. That's what we have to do. I think like this. If you really do blame someone like this, let's just look back ourselves. Am I that innocent people who can judge and blame others? If so, do you have rights to do that? Don't forget, we are brothers. We are not enemies. We are Muslims and Islam is a religion of peace. I hope we remember this. Okay, that's what I want to say. Then, thank you for watching my video. Take care and be safe. Alhamdulillah. Maasalama. Kamsamita. Annyeong.